Hi everyone. So I want to teach you about some glazing techniques that you could do on your pieces. We're always trying to make something look interesting, whether it's we're carving on our work into our clay or we're stamping and we want to know what is the best way to show it off or to have the glaze react with it. So in this segment, I want to show you something called inlay. And I have this mug here that I've stamped a name into. And I wanna have this um, really pop. So I'm gonna choose something that contrasts with my white clay, which is pretty easy because white could easily be contrasted with a lot of colors. But I decided to do purple for the inside and the surround. And for the lettering for the inlay, I'm gonna do black. So that'll be a nice contrast. Black is a neutral, so I know it's gonna go with everything. So make sure you shake your glazes first. Be careful with that. Um, you don't wanna be wearing the glaze. So what do I need to do if I wanna do an inlay? Well, I really just wanna concentrate on the name. So I'm not going to glaze the entire piece. I just wanna take the black and I wanna make sure that I push it into the letters. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting it on pretty thick, pretty heavy. And I'm gonna go over, I have a little stamp of a dragonfly over to the side. I wanna make sure, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, there's some little white dots that haven't gotten filled. So I'm gonna make sure those get filled. So I'm just putting it on heavy. I'm just gonna do one coat. That's all it needs. And that's it. I'm gonna let that dry. It's going to dry pretty fast because it's just one layer and on the bisqueware, which you have to be careful to make sure that when you're glazing your pieces in class, that you are glazing on bisqueware. You can hear the difference. The bisqueware is first fired. So before it's bisqueware, it's greenware. It's bone dry clay that's never been fired. First firing is called bisqueware. And now we're ready to glaze. Um, unfortunately, sometimes students make the mistake of glazing their pieces before they've been fired. Some clay bodies actually look in the bone dry stage similar to the fired bisqueware stage. So be careful of that. So already you can see um, the name is starting to show up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have clean water, make sure you have clean water and a clean sponge. And I'm gonna take the sponge, I'm gonna squeeze out as much of the water as I can. If I don't, if I take off and push the inlay and my sponge is too wet, I'm just gonna end up ruining the glaze that's in there by adding too much water to it. So I've got a damp sponge and I'm gonna to try to go against most of the grain of the um, stamping. And I'm just gonna wipe off the surface. So most of my pieces that I do this with will end up with a haze of the color I choose. In this case, of course, it's black. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my sponge. So now look at how the name shows. So you've got the before where, yeah, if you were up close, you can you can see this the stamping in it, but on a bisquare piece, that has a name carving in it or something that you really want to have pop, you want to do an inlay technique. So now the name shows and it's very clear, although I believe you're seeing it backwards. It looks pretty good. Um, with the black, I like it. It's nice and clean. And now I can go ahead and finish glazing the rest. So I'm going to add purple and leave it at that. Maybe I'll try something different. So that is inlay. And you can see all the detail.